it's going to be a lot closer than that news story makes out. I have got a breaking story to switch to because I want you to be the one to break it. NASA is doing something tonight with the Air Force at Vandenberg Air Force Base. What are they doing? Which is just north of you. I have two sources, one in Washington. I can't tell you how high it is, but it's pretty high. And the other is an Intel operative in Southern California corroborating that Vandenberg's board is lit. That is a technical term, meaning they're preparing for a launch. The, the rumor is, and we need this confirmed, so I'd like someone at Vandenberg to call you tonight during the hour with Dan Durda, maybe, on, because this all has to do with YU-55, this asteroid coming by tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. The, 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 the idea is they are preparing a launch to send either a probe flying past this asteroid as it approaches, or, and this is the really interesting part, it may actually be a warhead designed to deflect it hmm. so it does not come within a certain radius of the Earth. Speculation, or are there some sources here who are telling well, these you these are two separate sources. One is in the political structure in Washington. The other is in the intelligence community. And we need confirmation that Vandenberg is preparing to fire an Atlas Centaur to send this spacecraft at high speed to intercept YU-55 sometime between tonight and tomorrow evening. Well, that's interesting, Richard, because this asteroid is as big as an aircraft carrier. It will dart between the Earth and the Moon Tuesday at 6.28 p.m. Eastern Time. It is going to be the closest encounter by a huge rock in 35 years in a moment. Planetary scientist Daniel Durda joins us, and we'll talk about this asteroid. 